Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's Mad Dog TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's Mad Dog TV, let's go. Let's go. Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's Mad Dog TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's Mad Dog TV, let's go. Let's go. So what's good? What's good, everybody? So Chaz Wallace has entered the transfer portal. I see that is breaking news. So I want you guys to chime in. Let me know how you guys feel about that. And we're also going to talk about the latest as far as spring practice. You know, the game is on April the 27th. When you're coachable, the sky's the limit for you, but not only for you, but for the program and for this team. Everybody understand. Yes, sir. Continue to do what you're supposed to do. I know I would gain the guys' attention by working hard every day, and I want to show them that if I work and they work, we can all accomplish something and that we can all get somewhere. Sit down. Go. There you go. Good. 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 Oh, get that rip up. Get that rip up. Come on. Get that rip up. This season, sky's the limit. Of course, expectations are high, but... I think everywhere you go and every job you should have, expectations should be high. You should look to strive to get better every day, and that's what I'm looking for to these players because I know I will be better every day, and I expect the same thing for me. So I see everybody is talking about Chaz Wallace entering the transfer portal. And so, um, in my opinion, it's not a big deal, you know. Uh, this is this is something. This is a new era now. This is a new generation. You know where players hit the transfer portal all all times. You know I am a little bit surprised by him hitting that transfer portal, specifically because the spring game he haven't even played the spring game yet. So um, you know it just from in my opinion it would make more sense to wait until you play in the spring game than to uh, enter the transfer portal. What's going on, Miss New York Finest in the house? Shout out to Miss New York Finest. Hey, Magdal, not sure what's his story and his plays on the field. Is this a big loss for CU? In my opinion, it's not. You know, I don't feel like it's a big loss. Um, that we have a lot of dogs on the line. Um, obviously, you know, with the addition of Coach Sapp, there's going to be more players. Um, just like this player has entered the transfer portal, there will be other players from other schools that's going to enter the transfer portal. So. Um, I don't I don't even honest to be honest with you. I don't really know much about this player uh, from from my observation of practices. So um, it's definitely not a huge loss. Warren, Warren in the house, man. What's going on, Warren? One love, one love. Yeah, most definitely one love. I'm going to share the link for those that for you guys want to chime in on the topic about Chaz Wallace or any other. Uh, thing you want to talk about as far as Colorado. I'm going to share the link with you guys. But as I said before, the game is April 27th. And so I'm trying to do my best to get out there for you guys on that. That's going to tell us everything. You know, I mean, we can sit here and watch these practices and guys can look like, you know, they, uh, you said we have 30 people and only three, like, please hit the like button. Yeah, man, hit the like button if you guys, you know what I'm saying, want to support me, you know, but I understand that's how it works, you know, a lot of times, you know, you have people that, um, you know, they don't really, they say they support, but they really don't support at all. But I definitely appreciate you 100%. Fly says competition is tough right now and he dipped out. Yes. I mean, that's what it tells me. You know, him hitting that transfer portal tells me he basically saying, um, you know, the defensive line is too good. You know, because think about it. He didn't even really uh, – he didn't wait until the spring game. He got up out of there early. So that's a sign that our defensive line has improved, you know, in my opinion. 
Shout out to Jeanette Fox. I always showing love to the channel. She says, uh, Chaz Wallace, no big loss. People coming and going. Yes. People come and go all the time. You know, it's not a big deal at all. Coach Brian developed a relationship when I was the head coach at Mississippi Valley. He told me, you never know who's watching. He was watching me from afar. He liked the way my team played, the effort they gave. Once he became the head coach at the University of Colorado, he gave me a phone call, and that's how our journey began. When you was born in the 80s and you was raised throughout the 90s, Colorado football was one program that you will always see on TV. walk around the building and you see and you feel the championship vibe and that's the vibe that we're trying to bring back to see you i just gotta get vertical now and be ready to come off inside smart tough fast discipline with character and i think one word that takes care of all the others are the character you know what i'm saying let's go you got good character on and off the field then i think the other will follow because that means you're coachable <laughs> you know why wouldn't you want to be a part of that you know this movement um that they changing around colorado you know why wouldn't you want to be a part of that you know so if you chaz wallace you know and again i'm not really um let's see somebody just hold on give me a second but my thing is this my thing is this, you know what I'm saying? If you are Chaz Wallace or any player that entered the transfer portal, like, what's the purpose of that? Because the thing is, now you're going to a team, you don't really know much about the playbook. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of teams already didn't had their spring game. As you guys probably know, I've been reacting to a lot of the spring games just to kind of have something to do. But, um, I mean, why not get your game film? and then transfer you know it make more sense than to just transfer without having any kind of footage and so i mean i don't even know i mean i've heard of chaz wallace but i don't know him like that to feel like it's a real big deal warren g in the house man i'm gonna add you to the stage what's going on warren g can you hear me warren g i can't hear you you might have to uh Bag out and then come back in. Brother. All right, now I can hear you. What's yeah. going on? It's good. It was good. I just want to say, man, continue to do work, bro. I appreciate your work. Uh, I just want to say to people in the chat, one love. Um, please uh, give this brother some feedback. Um, you know, hit the like button. You, you don't, you, you're listening to the show. The man puts in hard work. He's dedicated to it. He loves what he do. Just give him some feedback. Whether you want to see something different, just provide some feedback. Comment, like, share, subscribe. This brother is doing his job. There's 34 people in, in the chat and only three likes. Come on. We can do better than that, right? Man, I definitely one love, appreciate bro. you. I'm out. Yeah, how you, how you feel about the news? Casual. Yeah, much love, much love. How do you feel about the news? Before you get up out of here, as far as with Chaz Wallace, you're having a hard time here. Uh, what about now? Oh uh, no, no. So uh, I didn't have any. I, I would just, I just wanted to kind of, I wanted to kind of talk to the chat, man. From from the, you know, the uh, the live man. You're doing a great job. I don't need to say nothing. You said you did. You said it all. But uh, I'm looking forward to. The um, transfer reporters just I forgot it's a linebacker that's there. We trying to get 6'2", 232 pounds. I forget his name. He from he from Carolina. He played for okay. Carolina. That boy, that man size sideline sideline. He beats. I forget okay, his yeah, name. Okay, we definitely need that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He get out there. Well, he get out there that ball. Well, I definitely appreciate you for for, for the, you know the words, man. That mean a lot for sure. Man, keep up the work, man. Don't let nothing keep don't let nothing keep you from doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job, man. I'm 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 looking for this channel to grow, and I I can expect 
better things to come as the channel starts to grow. So I, I'm 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 with you. I'm all in, bro. We ride or die over here from the shy. Yeah. And we yeah, much love for, for sure, for sure. Much love on that, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, that's love right there, man. Uh Marvin Brown says, Blessing Mag, may God keep you covered and exalt you. Yeah, appreciate that. Not surprised. Who else do you pre predict to will hit the tr the portal? Um, I'm concerned a little bit with the wide receivers, and I say that because there's so much talent that we have at wide receiver. You know, where all of these guys can't play at one time. You know, then you you know we don't even have Will Shepard uh, right now. He's going to be coming in in the fall. So I'm just hoping that none of the receivers, you know, hit the transfer portal. Um, but as far as predict. It's tough right now, you know. It's 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 one player uh, that I'm concerned about as far as hitting the transfer portal, but I'm not going to speak on his name. Um, I'm gonna just say he he's a player that I that I really like that haven't been practicing, and uh, there's a lot of players that um, in his position has been performing very well. So um, I don't want to speak that energy into the atmosphere if that makes sense of that of that player. But um, you know, as far as the wide receivers, I'm definitely concerned about that. Um, some of the wide receivers, um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, it's going to be very, very interesting to see because players hit the transfer portal like it's nothing now, you know, it, it could be a lot of players that we feel like that's for show sure lock, but then after the spring game, they out of there. So, um, but I mean, as far as who I predict, I, I could tell you he played cornerback, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to speak that into the atmosphere, but that, that's definitely, um, you know, how I feel as far as that go. Shirley, what's going on? I predict Tyler. Tyler I hope not. I, I absolutely hope not. Um, I hope not. I'm going to just say that. Shout out to Sunfire Brown. Appreciate the love. Hey, Mag Dog, I'm coming to you today from Georgia, visiting my son and his family. Get yeah, much love. I also love that badge, by the way, as well. You've been rocking with me from the very beginning. And it means a lot for sure. You know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoy your family um, in Georgia. They may not find a new team. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like you hitting this transfer portal as if you just know you're going to get picked up, you know. And so, um, you know, I'm not throwing on any shade to Chaz Wallace, but I honestly don't know who he is. Miller Jones just hit the hit the portal. Um, I don't know about I don't know about that. Some of y'all can confirm that one. Don't forget the thumbs up. Appreciate that. I agree about Tyler. Yeah, I hope not. I, I absolutely hope not. Muscles 31, what's going on with you? Man, check out that D2 corner and linebacker on Buff and Prime. Okay, so it's a D2 corner. What's his name? Yeah, running in the second team with disabilities, a good chance he'll be gone. You should link in with them. Yeah, yeah, I definitely uh, would check those guys out because I know those guys do something similar as far as breaking down uh, video footage and stuff like that. Um, you're not the first one that mentioned that to me. It's, it's some others that want to see me uh, get with those guys. Someone else just hit the portal. So who who was that? Who was that? I wouldn't be surprised if Travis J, Amari, and Cooper hit the portal. I would be surprised about Amari and Cooper because it seems like he's been performing very good. You know, it seems like he had he's gonna have a good role for this upcoming season, along with DJ McKinney, Travis Hunter. Um, I would be surprised about Amari and Cooper. No, we lost Miller Jones. This is terrible. Yeah, that's crazy. These guys hitting the portal. But again, just because they hitting the portal don't mean we losing nothing because at the end of the day, the same way they leaving, you know what I'm saying, there's going to be other, other players leaving as well. It's just the generation we in now. You know what I'm saying? Will Shepard has to be very good to start over Amari and Miller. That'll be interesting. Very, that's Man, I'm telling you that right now. That'll be very, very interesting because my top three right now from what I'm able to see is Travis Hunter, 
LaJounte, well, this is in order. Amari and Miller, Travis Hunter, and then LaJounte Wester, you know, Jimmy Horn Jr. That's my top four in order. Just my personal opinion from what I've been able to see. Coach Sapp is intense and everybody can't take that accountability. Nope, it's not the issue. Receiver don't complain when they rotate a lot. Plus, there are not many quarterbacks better than ours. I definitely agree with you 1,000% on that. I've been seeing a lot of spring games, and their quarterbacks are nowhere near better than Shadour. So Miller Jones is sorry to tell y'all he's going to a power four. Hey, best luck to him, man. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? He just one person. One person don't make the team. Jaden Miller Jones is hopping in the portal, and I don't think that's a good sign. Like, how do you guys feel about a player hitting the portal before the spring game? Like, do you guys feel like that's the type of player you would want on your team? You know, a player that can't finish spring, you know, can't finish the spring. It just doesn't, in my opinion, it, it just makes more sense to at least finish. You know, if you don't know how you're. What, regardless of what position you in, you don't know how it's going to pan out. You know, like you got to go out there and perform. Yes, he did. Hayes just posted it on DM, DMVR. JB is over, man. Jaden, unfortunately, is transferring. But, but this is the thing I want you guys to understand. It's just the beginning. There's going to be a lot more players that's going to hit this transfer portal. So I'm already expecting it. That's just the nature of the game now. Coach Brown developed a relationship when I was the head coach. I just want you to know our love ain't based on what you do on the field or what you bring to us. Our love is just based on you getting to the next level. You understand that? We truly love you. And that's why we're here. So when I'm on you and I'm criticizing you or critiquing you and I'm trying to take you to the next level, that's love. If I just let you go and don't say nothing about it, that means I'm done with it. You understand that? So make sure you understand all the different faces of love because there's a multitude of them. Don't just say love comes in one way. Love comes in a multiplicity of ways. Sunfire Brown, appreciate you on the badge. She says, I hope everyone else stays in place because we are doing real good. Yes, 100%. Practice been great, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not, me personally, I don't feel any kind of um, sad or sorrow just because these guys hitting the portal. You know, because again, there's going to be a lot more players that's going to hit the portal. But I promise you, Coach Prime has a backup playing already in line before these guys even thought about hitting the portal. You know what I'm saying? Cooper would play, but Travis J, yeah, he might. JB, we losing future starters. This is trash. It is trash we losing starters. You know what I'm saying? But they can't be replaced. But it is trash. It's, it's, it's trash from those guys leaving. You know what I'm saying? Because Coach Prime – the defensive coordinator, Coach Sapp, none of these guys have any control over these guys hitting the portal. That's their decision. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, remember that's a professor sent Coach Prime a letter in regards to players. So who knows who he was talking about? So it could be more going on than we know. Don't these players know they have to compete wherever they go? With 1,000%. You running away to the you running away to the same situation. You know what I'm saying? Me as a former player, I didn't realize that until I got older. Transferring, but see the thing is, when I was transferring, we had to sit out a year. Now these guys can transfer and play immediately. But the thing is, is that a lot of them don't understand. You're still going into the same situation, and it, and worse because now you're going to a school. Nine times out of ten, don't really want you in the first place you know what i'm saying so and then you got to compete regardless you still got to compete because nine times out of ten where you go they probably already have starters too you know so when players hit the transfer portal um you know it's, it's crazy which makes a lot of sense of why people say 
or they question should the transfer portal even exist because players are abusing it. Who that freshman running back everyone talking about? Um, who you talking about? You talking about um, for Colorado? You may be talking about uh, Micah, number 29. Hey, Mag Dog. Shout out to Jasmine. Y'all, y'all, uh, shout out to her, man. I'm going to put her podcast in the, uh, in the comments for y'all if y'all want to check her podcast out. Uh, I just shared her podcast. So y'all make sure y'all check it out, man. She was she was the one at the baseball game with me. You guys watched that video. The hater hated on Shadur's skill. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot more to hate about. Shallow, Cam, Herm, Travis Carter for the moment. We good, just gotta stay healthy. It's it it's only open two weeks. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering how long it's been open. He was that guy after this season and a potential big role player this year. Yeah, I mean, I'm not questioning his playing productivity. It's it's going to be missed if we can't replace that. But, I mean, college football is like – the transfer portal is like free agency. So Coach Prime can go and literally go into the transfer portal and replace him. You know what I'm saying? It's smart to get the new team so you can learn the playbook fast. Yes. You also have to learn the playbook, the style of the play. You know what I'm saying? When you just – when you up and leave, you have to learn to play all over again. Playbook as far as that goes. Uh, coaching is different. Technique is different. How would you know what – They hidden the porter because they're afraid of competition. Took took the words out of my mouth. That's what I see. You know, that's my personal opinion. Because why else would you hit the porter before two weeks before the spring game? You know what I'm saying? This is April. This is April 15th. So you literally have less than two weeks to show. I mean, if you because I mean, what? Why else would you leave? Yeah, the least they could do is finish the spring game. But we learned that last year we had some good players out there that left. I haven't heard anything else about those guys either, 1,000%. And I ain't going to call no names out, but there's some guys that hit the transfer portal that haven't even got picked up. they still in the transfer portal as we speak. You know, so, I mean, he jumped in because he getting out – preferred out or he want the bag but I, I i mean my question is who's going to give him the bag you know what i'm saying cameron craig was on the dnvr part dnvr podcast and he talked about jones being a dog too if you don't have hate how would you know what love is yes one thousand percent. Two safeties gone. Trevor Woods back to safety. I like that. Trevor Woods just made a pick six a couple a couple videos ago that I reacted to. You know, so you can put him at safety and linebacker. One of the guys, one of the dogs that stayed. You know, what I'm saying with that one eleven team, didn't run away from competition. You know, didn't hit the transfer portal just because Coach Prime was talking all that talk about. You know, having his Louis bag, Trevor Wood stayed there. So I like that. Hey, Mag Dog, to be fair, some of these guys are probably leaving now that they have more time in the portal to possibly get picked up sooner than later. I wish them all the best with the new teams. 1,000%. Me too. Shout out to FPSD. I appreciate you for the super chat, man. It means a lot. Uh, he says, how can any wide receiver be ranked ahead of Travis? I think we're spoiled with how good he is. No one, I mean, no one is better than Travis. Hey, I respect your opinion, 1,000%. That's great. But Amari and Miller, in my opinion, is just different. I could be speaking from a biased perspective because, you know, he's from Louisiana. 
you know, right up the road or whatever the case is. But when you cut on the film, any ball that's thrown to him, he coming down with it, regardless of who on him. I showed y'all videos of what he did to Travis Hunter. Let's keep it a buck. You know, he's already head tapped Travis Hunter. Every DB you can think of, he's already head tapped. Travis Hunter is a great wide receiver. And Travis Hunter is also a great DB. But Amarian Miller has already got the best of Travis. You know, so, I mean, Travis is great. Again, he's great. You know, I'm not trying to say he's not a great receiver or whatever case is, but Amarian Miller is definitely him. And and it's going to show. This season going to show that. But I, I respect your opinion. I mean, Travis is definitely everyone's favorite. But I'm just saying, don't sleep on Amari and Miller. Because there's no DB that, that's out there on Colorado's team right now that can lock down Amari and Miller. You know, and I put money on that. Who all left? Um, they, they have to still go to class. Hey, Derek, they don't care about class. It, it ain't about class no more. It's about playing and getting to the next level. You know, that's what it's about now. They, they, they can care less about class, to be honest with you. We good right now. We need to grab a couple of linebackers, deep tackles. We should win more games and get to the playoffs. I hope they, I hope they this long and hard. I hope they think this long and hard before they run to the portal. The portal can be a very lonely place. Some are still in the portal one or two years later. Yes, exactly. You know, the, hitting the portal should be, you should be taking a lot of, um, you know, you should be getting a lot of counseling, getting some good advice. Because when you hit the portal, it doesn't mean you're finna get picked up. You know, a team gotta want you. You know, you have to be on scholarship. It's a lot, it's a lot that goes into it. Come on, people, thumbs up on the live. This channel is very informative all the time. Appreciate that, Sunfire, Sunfire Brown, 1,000%, you know. But they're going to do what they're going to do. I think they scared. I think so, too, to be honest. Good to see you. Shout out to Help Axel. It doesn't matter if we don't matter to them unless one of eligibility and you getting a bag. Who knows your situation? Is Goldberg's son in the portal? Not that I know of. Yeah, Michael Welch. That's who he was talking about. Michael Welch. A dog, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Alton McCaskill looked good, too. Still wearing them dry. <laughs> that's Urban Therapy. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, chime in to her podcast. I hope they think long. Yeah, well, I read that. Raymond Tackle in the house, man. Shout out to him as well. He also does vlogs, you know, daily vlogs and stuff like that. You know, hard worker. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys, you know, subscribe to his channel. He has very good stuff as well. What future starters are you talking about? Transfer porters, not all is cracked up to be. Some players we lost in January are still there. What future starters are you talking about? Yeah, that's the thing about it. Like, I'm just saying, in my opinion, there's no player that has hit the transfer portal right now that's going to dictate how far Colorado goes this season. Just my personal opinion. You know, smash the like button. Appreciate that, Warren. Warren going hard for the channel, man. That means a lot to me to see y'all, man, supportive like that for sure. Uh, coming coming late, but Chaz was adding size. But with the dogs in front of him, I didn't see Chaz seen. And this is another guy right here, man, that's, that has a lot of knowledge of the game, been around the channel for a very minute, knows what he's talking about, and I agree with him 1,000%. I always heard that when the lights come on, the roaches run. <laughs> yep, because them lights finna come on April the 27th. So if you really a dog, why did you leave? Why did you run? If you a dog, why did you not show everybody you a dog? You know what I'm saying? It just don't add up to me. 
the spring game is so late it can hurt people. I, I, I just don't understand how it can hurt people when it's still you you putting up film. Like what you put on film is going to benefit you, like regardless of how late it is. Wish them the best. Buffalo is good regardless. Facts, facts. I think the portal ends April 30th, the spring game, April 27th. Okay, so that's what y'all talking about, three days. So you already basically see yourself not playing at Colorado, so you want to go ahead and hit the portal so you can have time to get picked up. Good luck with that. Facts. T. Woods too slow for safety, in my opinion. See, see, Trevor Woods get a lot of um, – he get a lot of backlash as far as his game, but he always making plays, though. So it's like, you know, like he ain't the fastest, he ain't the biggest, he ain't the strongest, but he always making plays, though. Like, just like the TCU game, I think he had an interception in the red zone. You know, he know he's very smart. Everyone is not getting a bag. Facts. Everyone ain't, for sure. Great job, man. Appreciate you, the beer, man. Appreciate you, one thousand percent. Coach Prime has already stated he anticipated this happening. Yes, he have. He already mentioned this before. You know that's why he's still been bringing in guys um, from the transfer portal. Anyway, you know so. The spring game being late only leaves three days to get picked up. That makes it tougher for players to make a good decision. But see, the thing is, with you hitting the transfer portal now, with no, with no film from the game, like what do you have to show? Practice films, practice clips. So how can that help you? Is what I'm. That's my question. Would be like, like I mean, what you've done, and it's, it's just for me going finishing spring. Just makes more sense. I mean, make more sense with it, even even with it being three days for you, you know, the deadline. So at least you have some actual tape, you know. Once they quit, are always a quitter facts, because that's what it is. When you hit the transfer portal before the spring game, you quit. You basically just quit. Hey, Mag Dog, perhaps Bear is coming. Hey, that's possible. That is absolutely possible. Professor Warren Sapp is schooling those young dogs. Facts. I agree with you 1,000%. With Miller coming on strong, do we need Will Shepard? Honestly, my personal opinion, I don't think we do. That's just my opinion. Um, it's it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to be able to manage the wide receivers because only one ball is being throw, thrown at one time. You got Travis Hunter, Marion Miller, Lejante Wester, Jimmy Horn Jr. You know, so it's like then you add Will Shepard. You know, it's going to be very interesting to see how they're going to manage those wide receivers because they all is special in their own way. Lejante Wester's Jimmy Horn Jr. The speed guy, Travis Hunter does it all. Amari and Miller, just throw it up to him. He's going to go catch it. Will Shepard haven't shown me anything yet. I know what he what, what he did at the prior school Vanderbilt, but, you know, I would like to see it. But if he's what he's – everybody know he's capable of doing uh, this. To, yeah, I could say we can we could use Will Shepard too, though, because you never can have too much talent. You know, the nature of the game, players go down, players get injured. You know what I'm saying? And so um, guys get tired. So you want to be able to kind of rotate in a way. So I just can't. And then it takes pressure off Travis Hunter with him going both ways, having someone like Will Shepard and Amari and Miller and all those guys stepping up. So, yeah, I think we do. We really do need Will Shepard for those reasons, because it takes pressure off Travis Hunter and it helps him as far as his durability towards the end of the stretch as far as the season goes. So, yeah, I, to answer that question, I would say, yeah, we definitely need Will Shepard. They are not good. <laughs> Amari and Miller should sprout this season, and a few others will stun the fans. No disrespect. Who is Chaz Wallace? I don't know neither. Amari and Miller playing on Sundays. Facts. 
Chaz, Chaz Wallace is the cook at Waffle House. <laughs> Miller is the best receiver I've seen in practice right now, hands down, my opinion as well. Grades are important to stay on the team. That, are, that is true as well, but I'm just saying, like, these guys don't care about the grades. Like, they probably, you know, taking doing what they need to do so they can play, you know, but the transfer portal speaks for itself as far as how guys feel about education. Just look at the transfer portal, you know. We need a thick body linebacker. What about Wester, uh, LeJounte Wester, um, brother? But I, I, I can agree. Maybe one more big body linebacker, another D tackle. If I was a player and I hit the portal, I'm going to make sure my resume built up facts. You, you basically took the words out of my mouth. That's, basically, that's all I'm saying. I'm going to make sure I have a complete resume. If I have 24 hours to push my name out there at the least, I'm going to make sure I have the right resume to at least bag up why I am in the transport portal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why I deserve to be able to play. You know, why? Wh where your game, fam? Well, uh, it was three days, and so I didn't want to not go. I didn't want to pass the, the due date, so that's why I hit the portal. So I only have practice film. You know what I'm saying? We have practice players with practice film. Miller Miller would not put up many touchdowns this year. I don't know how he wouldn't, and he's and he doing it in practice every single clip. Every well-off media video, I see Miller scoring touchdowns. Oh, you say Miller will put up many. Okay, okay, I had to reread that. I thought he said he would not. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's facts. Mag dog until Amari and Miller catch over two DBs like Travis. I would put Travis first. Just keep watching. Keep watching. You must just see the video clips that I made um, last year. So, like I say, just, just keep watching. Bear is not coming. Travis is Travis. And the one game does not define you as a player. Iron Shark and Iron Facts. I agree with that 1,000%. One I mean, and no more Bishop or Wallace to add depth. See, you needs two more D tackles, but do you, you also have Sh Shadows in the Wonk You know what I'm saying? Doesn't he play de defensive tackle or am I tripping? Don't we have Ty Ty Tyran Carter? You know, or am I tripping? I'm just asking y'all. I want at least two more D tackles, and then Shane Cox. You know, but I I would figure some former buffs would end up in San Diego State. Yeah, he'll be a red shirt freshman. Like uh Goldberg's son, he's gonna be a red shirt. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I can't I ain't gonna say he's gonna be a red shirt until he gets out there on the field. But that's just my personal opinion. I could be wrong. Goldberg soon hasn't graduated high school yet. Come on. Yes. Yes. He still, you know, he ain't even graduated high school yet. <laughs> I heard Washington may hit the portal. Thoughts? Talking about um, Washington? Um, I wouldn't be surprised. Again, I would not be surprised at all, you know, because guys hit the portal with no hesitation. And if he do, I still feel like he could be replaced as well. Son, you have not seen the best of Miller until game days. Facts, facts. It's a long season. Death is important. Remember, many get hurt. Yes. We need more size, though, for sure, because I can tell you guys we are still small, in my opinion. True, because the portal don't close until the 30th. Exactly. So you still have a few days. To get your name out there. We are not going to lose any players we really need. Facts, John. Shout out to John Chaney as well. I agree with you 1,000%. With these guys leaving, 
maybe coach should reward the ones who are loyal. Isn't there a kid or two not on scholarship? How about rewarding them? I mean, only player I would say that I think not on scholarship they deserve to be rewarded is Charlie Offerdale because he's been balling. Number 44, um, you know, but it's only so many scholarships can pass around. It's just unfortunate. He just he happened to be a walk on, you know, in that situation. Okay, now linebacker 6'2, 232. Okay. You don't have to stay at Colorado if you're not going to play. That's anywhere you go, though. You, if that's the case, then you're just going to live in the transfer portal. Because just because you hit the transfer portal and go to another team doesn't mean you're going to play. So at some point, you have to be patient and wait for your opportunity. Shout out to Neek XO. Hey, Mag. Not true. You got three days to enter, not get picked up. I think people don't like Trevor Woods for a different reason. I don't know what that reason is, honestly. I like Trevor Woods, in my opinion. Some of those guys played last year, so they have some film. Okay. Last year is last year, but if they if they find a, a college team that don't care about their most recent game tape, blessings to them. But you know, in my playing days, it usually go about where what 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 is your most recent game film as of right now? Like, how are you right now? Because last year, it's a lot that go on. It's a lot that can change in a year. You know, I know it sounds probably weird to you, but players get better, players get worse within a year. So if that's the case and they're able to land an opportunity, congratulations. At this point, I could care less about who leaving facts. Me too. If you leave, then you leave. So what? Why hit the portal before the spring game? Dang, yes. Facts. Shout out to Diva. You know what I'm saying? This is a female that has sense. Like, why why hit the transfer portal before the spring game? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? You know it's going to be nationally televised. It's going to be sold out. You have a chance to show the world that you a dog. You know what I'm saying? And then this can show other people, you know, other coaches. That going to everybody watches Colorado. Let's keep it a buck. Every single team watches Colorado. So you got a chance to show everybody what you're capable of doing. So if you do hit the portal, at least they'll say, okay, well, I did see you do this. You know what I'm saying? Because let's keep it a buck. Everybody watches Colorado. Woods IQ is off the chart. Yeah, that's why he's able to make plays because he has that knowledge. Jeanette, I'm with you. I want to know who are the new dogs coming in. Facts, facts. Because there's going to be some, some more dogs coming in. I think Jones is going to get pick up because he got tape. Let them go to the portal. Shout out to Tina Barnes. She said, I was ready to ask who was Chaz Wallace. Yeah, don't ask me because I don't know. But it's people in the chat may know who he is. Do not ask me because I have no idea. Y'all don't bash who y'all proclaim to be by dog just ten, six, eight months ago now. I don't know why Kamani McClain, why is he being treated like a diva at this point? If he hit the transfer portal, he wouldn't be missed because we've never learned anything about this young man. Y'all know... Kamani McLean is 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 definitely one of my favorite that I want to see play, and um, you know it, it it I'm just a little disappointed, you know, because I feel like he has great upside. He can play the game, and uh, you know I'm, I'm rooting for Kamani, what one thousand percent. You know he just he just has a lot to uh, to learn, and I hope he can get a grasp to that very fast because he has a lot of talent for sure. Chaz Wallace played defense last year. I wish him well. They are all still kids trying to make the best decision for themselves. Facts. 
don't they realize that regardless of whether they hit the port or not, they must have the grades to get into another school? 100%. You still have to have the grades. So that is facts. That's facts. Most kids who are balling and established in their current programs, if they are elite programs, will rarely leave for a foreign environment. I really need to proofread before I send it these texts out in the work. <laughs> hey, some of these texts, y'all make it hard for me. I'd be like trying to read them, but I'd be trying to just at least understand what y'all are trying to say. But you good. What's good? Shout out to Selma, man. One probably one of the the most active uh, supporters that I know, you know what I'm saying? She always showing love and it means a lot to me, 1000%. Now you right. I like Trevor. Jaden Miller Jones entered the, the portal. If Colorado is going to the, into the playoffs, they will need more dogs in the trenches. Yeah, we still need some more dogs though. I, I will agree as far as the trenches go. And offense alignment, too, because I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but Shador st is still getting sacked. I mean, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to that. Maybe more clips. I'm going to start pointing that out. But the offensive line isn't perfect or isn't all the way better just yet. In my, my personal opinion, I, I've just been watching and, and um, paying attention to that. So I feel like we still need a few more offensive linemen as well. Most players have a hard time accepting that they are only seen as deaf pieces. Yeah, they're just a number. They're just a number. Nawank, Woe, Carter, McNeil, Barnes, and Shane. So we really only have four real defensive tackles. He's hitting the portal because Coach Prime has some dogs on the way. I can believe that. Shout out to Wayne Morgan, man. I love that badge on you. It looks amazing. Charlie Offerdale or Caleb Mathis. Okay, so neither one of those two have um, scholarships is what you're saying. Coach Prime rewards those kids all the time with a pair of headphones, his glasses, his knowledge, everything else you can think of, the support cast, um, you know, all the legends that come to the school. I mean, what more rewarding do you need? Coach is going to get the dogs. They just picked up a guy from England that is 300 pounds. Wow, 6'8". 368, 300 pounds. That's size right there. Depending on what we can get out the portal, I, I really feel like there's going to – see, the thing is a lot of teams have already had their spring game. See, we have a late game, which is beneficial because – there's a lot of players right now that's going to be entering the transfer portal from other teams because they already had their spring game. You know, Alabama, Georgia, um, Miami, uh, Ole Miss. So there's a lot of teams where um, some of the players are going to hit the portal because – but the thing is the benefit of Colorado getting some of those guys from the portal is that they're going to have film. See, there's a difference. See, Coach Prime can say, okay – this guy's in the portal. Let me look at let me look at his game, his most recent game film of the spring game. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to benefit us. Whereas if we lose in the player before the spring game, maybe I don't sound like I'm, I'm, I'm talking with sense to y'all, man. But hopefully some of y'all understand. Watching Sap teaches these men, making me think when he played in the NFL. Yeah, Sap be playing with so much energy. He be screaming. You know, say it'd be funny. It'd be funny. I love it. Trevor Woods is a a glue guy. Stay with the program. Facts. He, he's facts. He ain't shy away from, you know, from the competition. I got to give him credit on that. That alone makes me support Trevor Woods. It's easy for a player to just leave, especially with the way Coach Prime came about himself in that first meeting. You know, he basically ran off the weak links. 232 people in the room, man. Just hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? If you guys support me. They might not want to show that film from last year. <laughs> I know, right? What do you think about losing Jaden 
Milner Jones to the portal. He played well as a true freshman. I wish him absolutely the best. You know, um, I mean, honestly, just giving you my opinion, like I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my opinion as if it's Coach Prime. Like it's just another number. You know what I'm saying? There's many players in the transfer portal just like Jaden. You know what I'm saying? That you can get. So it's like, you know, I don't think it's gonna be a, that much of a loss uh, losing Jaden, Jaden Jones. I, I really, honestly, don't. The spring game is the first interview. Fact. It's the first interview, and you mean to tell me you don't show up to the first interview because you're kind of like second guessing as if you're gonna get hired? Like it doesn't. It just don't make. It don't make sense to me. And we're talking about football, a game that you've probably been playing your whole life. You ain't that confident. <laughs> Chaz is a goofy. In your playing days, they didn't have this crazy portal. No, they didn't at all, man. You had to sit out a year. Um, and if you if you transfer again, it was like two or three years. It was, it was very strict. You just couldn't hit the portal and then play like – it, it, it's it's crazy now, you know, players. And then the, the, the problem that I have is that you have a lot of players, quarterbacks, for an example, perform very, very good last season, but they still hit the portal just because of the bag. You know what I'm saying? But again, if, you, if that's what the game has come to, so be it. I hate it. I enjoy watching Nick Saban coaching the Alabama Crimson Tide. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy it. That those type of days, you know what I'm saying? But this portal stuff has ran him away. You know, I enjoyed those times, you know what I'm saying? So the game is just a lot different. Was he even in the in the team? I don't even I don't I honestly don't even know. I I, I don't think so. So so uh Chaz has good hands but no leg drive. When Chaz came over, he was ranked seven hundred and 730 and the 78th defensive tackle wasn't a great prospect, if I'm being honest. This is somebody right here, man, has a lot of knowledge. So if you guys want to know about Chaz, here goes some more stuff right here. Wait till Draylon Miller comes. Yeah, see, that's enough. I forgot all about him, honestly. Then you have Draylon Miller, you know, who's also a very good wide receiver. You know, we know he was a part of a lot of the um all-star games and stuff like that so it's just a lot of wide receivers and you know you would hope all of those guys don't get the portal it would be great bear alexander let me down staying at usc <laughs> kamani is a dog he's out of shape and he's young yes yes coach uh mathis did say kamani has to get back in shape Jaden Jones has some talent. He's the bigger loss. I would agree to that. I mean, Jaden Jones definitely has some talent. Porter is the ish. 222 people in the chat and only 55 likes. Hit the like button. <laughs> that's crazy. 200, that's, that means it's over 150 some people just, just watching and enjoying the show, but they don't want to hit the like button. Don't be surprised if a few of these defensive players end up at Syracuse with their old coach Williams. I wouldn't be surprised because the same thing happened with Alabama. You know, uh, what is his name? Caden DeBoer from Washington brought a lot of guys to Alabama uh, from Washington. So that's usually what happens when these guys uh, leave. They follow the old coach and stuff like that. Chaz Wallace transferred in from. Oh, the U, Old Dominion last year didn't pan out. So just think about it, Wayne. If that didn't work out at Old Dominion, then you go up to Colorado, and now you're back in the portal again. So it's like if you are a team, uh, fifty fabulous. What is your cash app? Yeah, it's in the it's in the uh, it's it's on the thing on the banner. Say big Savion Washington in the portal officially. Okay. 
I, I mean, think about it. What's his name? Uh, the offensive lineman, Khalil Benson. When Khalil Benson, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, when he first arrived, Khalil Benson went out to somebody I thought was Savion Washington. Maybe I'm tripping though. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, I'm, I'm. If I ain't mistaken, Khalil Benson told Washington that he was here for his job. First date. Congratulations. He did the right thing if he hit the portal. I saw that coming the first day Khalil Benson arrived. So not like that. I see two wide receivers hitting the portal as well. Yeah, I, 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 me too. I know the names that I see, but I'm just saying I don't even want to speak it. I don't even want to speak it in the atmosphere. And they great wide receivers. Going from high school to a four-year college is hard for some kids. They must have the ability to juggle football in school. Yes, it's hard to be a full-time, uh, you know, football athlete because not only are you juggling, you know, like you say, schoolwork, watching film going to practice, getting up early, going to meetings, you know, getting treatment. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that goes on that a lot of people, you know, don't understand. And it's for kids. Like you say, these are kids. But uh, especially in the spring, see, back then when I was playing, we had tour days, you know, so we it was pretty much a full day worth of, you know, torture pretty much. But it's still it's definitely tough because you have to keep your grades up. So you still have to tackle uh, the schoolwork just as hard as you do football. But you still have to make sure the main thing is the main thing, which is trying to get to the next level. So not only are you doing uh, practices with the team and stuff like that, but you also training on your free time to improve, you know, as an individual. So it's a lot. You're absolutely correct. It's a lot that these kids have. Um, you know, that they have to deal with every day, along with, you know, some of them have family that they need to check in with and, and other things like that. So it's a lot. It ain't easy. But a lot of the schools favor the athletes and they just push them right on through school. I think a lot of these guys, yeah, a lot of them have it made. A lot of them have, you know, and it's a blessing for those guys that you're talking about that, you know, can have that privilege. You know what I'm saying? There is another kid that's coming in May. He committed on Thanksgiving. Dollar sign, Dre Green. Appreciate that, Wayne Morgan. Appreciate you 1,000%. Y'all know how I am about that. You know, if you want to support me, you can. If not, it's, it's all good. This is, my, this is my medicine right here, talking about the game of football with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good regardless. Yes, I agree about this the offensive line not yet tough enough. Yeah, I, I'm telling y'all, man, the offensive line is still not great. Savion Washington just hit the portal, but I think we all is yeah. One first day I already I saw it coming first day. Khalil Benson saw it first day. You know, now we since he hit the portal, we can keep it a buck. You know, Khalil Benson I already told Savion Washington what it was the first day. Second guy might be Horn. I know, I know, but Wester looks good, damn good. If Will is that dog, this pushes Horn to fourth, maybe fifth with Evers playing more wide receiver. I agree. I see that coming too, which is why I am watching Jimmy Horn Jr. a lot harder in these video clips. And uh, I can say Horn has been showing up though. So it's it's tough. It's tough. LeJonte Wester ain't making it easy though. That's That's for sure. So, I mean, that's going to be tough. The wide receiver arrangements, that's going to be hard. I mean, it ain't going to be easy at all. It's so much talent. Appreciate that, Wayne. Jalen Jones has, trans has entered the transfer portal for CU. Let me catch up. Let me catch up. So you say with Big Sav gone, we need at least two offensive tackles and two DTs and another middle linebacker. Appreciate that, Tyler. Appreciate you for the like. 
Do we have any more updates on Xavier Weaver? So far, no. No more updates on Xavier Weaver. The draft is this month, though. So I'm very excited to see um, what's the latest with him. I still see six, seven round, in my opinion, undrafted. Just because he didn't participate at the NFL scouting combine, just my personal opinion. You know, I really wish he would have been able to do what he did in the pro day um, at the scouting combine because it's, it's in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, but it remains to be seen what's going to happen with that. I wonder how it's going to be when all the players leave for the 2025 draft. Uh, it's going to, that is going to be tough um, for Coach Prime then, but I still think he can get it done. But there's not, it's just like, there's not a lot of Tom Brady's. There's not a lot of Patrick Mahomes. There's not a lot of Shadur Sanders. I have Shadur Sanders as, in that class as well. So that's for any coach. You know, it's it's hard to go out there and find a Shadur Sanders. You know what I'm saying? A Travis Hunter. I mean, think about with Kamani McClain. They're trying to build him as that the next big thing. So, I mean, you just can't go and just find that. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be hard for any coach. Thank you. I got them confused. I'm still looking forward to you doing an in-depth video on Coach Prime, Florida boys, and his Texas boys. Yeah, I, I got to get that done for you. I know you want me to do that. I'm going to definitely do that where you want me to uh, do an in-depth video. on. on uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure I take a screenshot of that so I can do it. Yeah, I definitely do that. Him, because there's a lot of Florida boys. Um, and Texas boys on that roster now for sure. Savion turned out to be a disappointment to me. He just looked very sluggish. Yes. That was Connor. He told he was here for his job. Oh, it was Connor. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't Washington. So Washington pretty much just left on his own. Okay, I got y'all. It was Connor. All right, my fault, Washington. <laughs> if you see the video, my, my apology. I thought it was Washington. I just know when Khalil Benson and them came in there, the new offensive alignment, they let everybody know, hey, you know what I'm saying, we here now. So I may got the names mixed up, but Washington was still part of that horrible offensive line that, I mean, the way it looked, it looked like, man, I ain't going to go there. Benson ran Savion off after he gets run off. <laughs> they say it was Connor, though, but I, I'm a – Brian Johnson, the good the good brother, how you doing? Money going to hit the portal, my opinion only. I'm scared, bro. I just hope that ain't true. But I am I am concerned about that. Horn, I don't see going based on his relationship with Coach Prime. I agree. I think that is going to help keep Horn. He's going to help him, you know what I'm saying, with their relationship. I, I can't agree with, with you on that. That father figure as well. So um, I, I, I agree. How many roster spots are available? Very, very good question. See, I don't know now. Everything has changed so much to where I really don't know. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all, you know, and, and make it seem like I know everything because I don't. That's a question I really don't know. I don't know if it's more now because I just don't know. If somebody else knows, drop it in the comments. Um, on that. Let's see. Shout out to Marie, man. Appreciate you for the super chat. You says keep up the good keep up the great work, Mag Dog. We enjoy your takes. I watch daily. Great job. Thanks a lot. That means a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? The support, all of that means a lot. I definitely appreciate it. One thousand percent. Facts, Jeanette Fox, J5 ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I, I don't see that neither. He is not hitting the portal. Are you excited about the EA Sports College Football 25 game? 1,000%. You know what I'm saying? I, we've been waiting on this for so long, and now to finally have it coming out, it's going to be amazing. You know what I'm saying? Then getting the chance to play with Colorado, going to be fun against other people. Yeah, I'm very excited about that game. Especially until the new Grand Theft Auto come out. 
You know what I'm saying? Wayne Morgan, I'm doing well getting geared up for the season. Kamani leaves. He's heading back to Florida. Maybe you – yeah, if he leaves, he's going back to Florida for sure. But I just don't see it. I don't I, – I feel like he's going to stay. But I am – I wouldn't be saying I'm 100% like confident because I see DJ McKinney and Preston Hodge getting more attention from Coach Prime right now with Kamani out. So uh, I just can't wait that Kamani can get back to being – you know, that five-star, everybody know him capable of being. Shout out to Sharima. Uh, appreciate you for the $5 cash out. Thanks a lot. Uh, Jacqueline Franco, we are good. I know. Gonna, gonna be a good one. Gonna be a good one. Kamani can leave if he wants to. Yes, facts, facts. I agree with you 1,000%. Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's mad dog TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's mad dog TV, let's go. Let's go. Had to rearrange, man, the spot. Let's see what we got. Uh, facts. EA Sports need to pay these kids. I mean, they are already making money. I mean, how much more money do the do EA Sports need to pay these kids? You know, they already getting NIL deals. They probably will. They may they may be a part of the NIL package. If Kamani leaves, he leaves. He has to control his destiny, turn his spot in life. You have to earn your way. Yes, that's my that's my point. Like, just because you leaving a situation doesn't mean that that you fixing the situation. You know, you still have to prove yourself. So, even if Kamani even if Kamani leaves, he still has to prove why he's a five star considered uh, player. You know. Kamani is not leaving. Yeah, I, I, I really don't think he is either. I hope not. That would be a great promo builder for the UCF game for sure. Loving your intro. Appreciate the Sunfire Brown. EA Sports are paying the kids $600 plus free copy of the game. You can be a five star in high school, but be a falling star in college. Yes. You can be a five star, you know, get to college and then disappear. You can be a two or three star and then end up being somebody that, you know, I didn't know what happened. <laughs> 50 catches, 600 yards, reception, five TDs. You you folks drunk if you think J percent leaving Shador. You're also crazy if you think he won't be on the field. Yes. I agree. I, I mean, I, I just we I'm just saying, though, as far as that go, he he knows he's going to have to step it up because LaJonte Wester, Amarian Miller, Will Shepard on the way. Then you have Travis Hunter, them four wide receivers right there to make sure, you know, J5 get it, get it together. EA is giving six hundred dollars per player. Dang, that's a lot of money. Carter, Kamani should switch to safety. I like that idea. I, I just feel like Kamani needs to just be productive. He needs to be able to be on the – Kamani just needs to be in practice for me. Before we even get to him being at safety, he just needs to be at – he needs to be able to just practice. Ch Chaz didn't do anything last year. Kamani runs like a safety. I, I like him. At, I like the idea. I just feel like that he needs to be playing football, if that makes sense. Horn Jr. is a prime guy. Yeah. 
just image you're a DB and don't want to learn from the GOAT at your position, then you don't understand what you're missing out on. Yes, I agree. It's just too much. It's too much involved with Kamani to just leave. You know, I mean, the GOAT, you running away from the GOAT to go somewhere else. Like, it just don't make sense to me neither. Magdal, do you remember Percy Harvin who played? Oh, absolutely. I had to stop right there. 1,000% I remember Percy Harvin. Uh, Magdal, do you remember Percy Harvin who played for Florida back in the 08? J5. Hey, when you mention Percy Harvin, you got to understand that's different. You know, Percy Harvin is like, it's just, it's it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's Percy Harvin reminds me of like, it's one player I know, like Devin Hester, you know what I'm saying? Well, you actually cut on the tape just to watch their highlights all day. Uh, J5 do have some similarities as Percy Harvin, but Percy Harvin was different. You just, I just, this is like me saying Travis Hunter is like Coach Prime, you know, Deion Sanders. It's just hard to put those two together because them, them, them guys back in the day was just different. But I, I get what you're saying as far as the playing style. Unfortunately, Kamani is in a team with coaches that can make other five stars. Yes, that's huge. That's that's also huge. You know, there's some coaches in there that can make Preston Hodge look like a five star. DJ McKinney, Coach Prime been on him very hard. Richard Sherman, I do like that idea. Both of them so long. Percy was the truth. Yeah, Percy was different, man. <laughs> Wasn't Kamani our low, lowest rated DB? I think his rating was like 51. Carter, for example, was 61. Um, that's a good point. He was the lowest rated DB, you know, outside of the five star. He was the one of the lowest rated. Yep. But, we, I mean, we didn't expect that, though. Like, I mean... I would not I would be surprised if Kamani is not like, you know, if he don't pan out, put it like that. Percy was different. Yeah, Percy was just different. <laughs> yeah, J5, yeah, because Percy, it wasn't no such thing as dropping passes with Percy Harvin. Like, that's just that's just different. I just can't do Percy Harvin like that. Cam Newton said Percy was neat was weeded up at Florida on Club Shay Shay. Some players have speed and ability, but Percy has speed, quickness, yes, athletic ability, hands. I mean, Percy had everything. Like it, he didn't have no flaw in his game. So I mean, J five is good. I like J five, but. I can't I can't say he was like Percy Harvin. That's 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 crazy. <laughs> Cam Newton needs to take off his heels and stop gossiping. Mad because he ain't in the league. <laughs> I agree, Wayne. You know, Cam Newton, he just um he wasn't able to lock in. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like that at either. I, I mean because he's in my opinion, still one of the best quarterbacks. Brian Johnson, part of the my problem with Horn drops. Okay, part of my problem is the drops. Honestly, I can't start a guy who has as much much yards in season Wester as J five. I agree. If I had to choose between J five and Wester, I'm going Wester. No question about it. Percy wasted. His NFL opportunity behind drugs and fame. Talent is the only work you put in. God given talent that you work on. You always hear about all the greats. They were the hardest workers. Facts. Yes, talent is only so much. You know what I'm saying? But your hard work is what going to dictate if you're going to be successful or not. And I think with the hard work, you know, a lot of the players that has they they rely on their talent so much. But they don't put in the hard work. And I think that's why a lot of them struggle with showing it. 
But when you have a guy that's decent, has decent talent, but can outwork the guy that has the most talent, nine times out of ten, he's going to be the one that's playing on Sundays than the guy that has the most talent. Shout out to Sweet Carolyn. Hey, Mag Dog. I'm in the bushes listening to. Hey, appreciate that 1,000%. Don't let me get you in trouble. I appreciate that 1,000%. KT4, Cam said Percy was locked, locked though. Yeah, Wayne. My Colorado wide out lineup this season. Cam showed never healed. Which cam? Which cam are you talking about? This? Uh, oh, you talking about Cam Newton? Yeah. Shout out to Brian Johnson, man. Appreciate you for the super chat. Appreciate you. One thousand percent, man. I, I appreciate that. You guys, like I say, man, I I just enjoy sitting back talking about the game of football. You know, for me, I enjoy this. My Colorado starting wide out: Travis, Amarian. Uh, Wester, J5, Mathis. Hold on, you say my starting five, my starting wide up, Travis, Amarian, Wester, J5, okay, and Mathis. Now, that's before um, Will Shepard, correct? Because, you know, Will Shepard is coming and Draylon Miller. So, with that being said, is that still, would that still be your starting five? Shout out to Big Walt, ATL. Appreciate your new member right away, new member. You know what I'm saying? It means a lot to see the new members, man. You know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate that. I don't know if we gonna really get anyone this portal. Oh, trust me, we're gonna get a lot of players from the portal. We I mean, think about it. The king of the portal is primetime Deion Sanders. McLean has said he wasn't transferring. I'm looking forward to seeing him develop and play. Yes. He has said it numerous of times he's not transferring. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not. Yet people still bring that up, you know, which is which is crazy in my opinion. You know, it's almost like when a person's when a person says something and then you keep questioning them, you know what I'm saying? It can get irritating. So I'm 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 happy that a Kamani is not allowing that to bother him. Damn, I forgot about yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you you know you that's what I'm saying. So just imagine if you you forgot this, just imagine how, you know, um, Pat Shermer and, you know, the offensive coordinator how and Coach Prime, how they feel as far as making that starting lineup. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's too much talent at wide receiver, which is why I'm afraid that some of them guys going to hit that portal. It's just going to come down to if, the, if these guys are for the team or themselves. When we talk about the wide receivers, if they for the team, they're going to stay. But if they for themselves, some of them going to leave because it's just it's over. It's over. It's overhauled. Colorado needs more depth and quality backups on the front seven on D. I agree. I, that's a good that's a real good comment. On the front seven on D. Yeah, that's a very good comment. I agree. Draylon can play. And what about Cam? I thought, don't we have another player, uh, athlete? I think his name is Cam, where he plays some like wide receiver, running back, if I ain't mistaken. I think he's a freshman. I can't think of his last name. It's too early for the starting receivers. Wait. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's too much of a pain. It's too much of a pain. Percy had migraines, self medicine. Yes. Yes, he did have migraines. Because believe it or not, I had migraines as well, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of the things that made it hard for me to be able to play was dealing with those migraines. It was family genetic. Cam Michael. Yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Cam Michael as well. See, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, them eight receivers, Cam Michael, Will Shepard, Amarian Miller, Travis Hunter, uh, Caleb Mathis. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else did I did not mention? LeJonte Wester. It's just so many wide receivers. Draylon Miller. You know?
Wayne, a lot of talent. Shout out to Marie, new member. New member, man. I appreciate that. For real, you guys don't know that. I really do. Don't forget about the incoming freshmen that weren't able to leave high school. Hey, we I ain't even mentioned um the guy I interviewed. He's a sleep replay, DBN wide receiver. It's so many players, I be forgetting names. Um, I can't forget his name though. Matter of fact, let me get his name real quick. My screen may may uh Carson, yeah, Carson Westbrook. You know, I ain't even mentioned him. But let's be honest, Mag Dog, Amari and Miller is the best receiver on the team right now besides Travis, 1,000%. Because Amari and Miller, like, you can throw it up to him and he's going to come down with it 90% of the time, regardless of who on him. It can be Sauce Garden, and I still feel like Amari and Miller is going to still get some get some catches. And y'all know Sauce, Sauce Garden is a shutdown DB. Amari and Miller is, is cold-blooded. Probably one of the best wide receivers I've seen. Like, like, and I'm just looking at it in in video form, so I can imagine how those guys, like Coach Prime, can see that up close. Like, you know, I remember Coach Prime said last last year he don't remember Mario Miller doing those things in practices. This year he can't say that because every single video clip Well Off Media makes, Mario Miller is doing something crazy. There's no excuses to not have Amarion Miller as the number one guy besides Travis Hunter, in my opinion. Yes, Cameron Michael. I probably said his last name wrong. I look at Draylon as another Debo Samuel. Yes. What about the other guy, though? It's another wide receiver we ain't mentioned. Baby T.O. Is he there or did he transfer? I think Baby T.O. also is one of those wide receivers. That's coming in the fall. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that with the addition of Coach Sapp, more linemen will come. Yes. Do you think Cameron's Craig will get drafted or he needs a senior year? Oh, man. It's hard for me to say that he wouldn't because Derek McLennan didn't really get much plant, where well, he didn't get much productivity, but still getting a lot of NFL looks. Roderick Ward, uh, Juju. So, but your question is being drafted. To get drafted, then, yeah, I would say come back one more year. Because it's these guys like Derek McClendon probably going to go undrafted. Uh, Juju probably going to go undrafted. Um, so, yeah, to get drafted, then I would say one more year. Like Roderick Ward. Because I think Roderick Ward is going to end up getting drafted. Yes, exactly. Baby T.O., that's, that's right. So I just can't see how they're going to manage those wide receivers. Seven will leave. Don't forget Baby T.O. Yes. And I'm wondering, I'm thinking right now as I talk to y'all, is it another wide receiver? Because, again, there's so many wide receivers. Like people are mentioning with Shepard coming, how many balls can Horn get? If Horn, I'm leaving. If I'm prime, I'm playing the best players, and Horn will probably be fifth. Hey, I can't disagree with that. I, I can't disagree with that, honestly. It's, it's, that's going to be hard. Because as, as you said, there's only one ball going to be thrown around. And if Will Shepard is who everybody say, let's say Will Shepard is just as good as Amari and Miller. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Horn did have a lot of drop passes, you know, so let's keep it a book. My thing is, is that what I would not want to happen is Coach Prime have that mentality like, okay, that's my dog, and I and I want to trust him, so I want to try him out. Because game one, that, 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 it doesn't need to be any trying out. We need to have the best 11 guys on both sides of the football ready to go. We can't get into where, you know, we're trying guys out knowing, like, for example, we're going to sit Amari and Miller and, and, and bring in other guys or have other guys, you know what I'm saying, for the, for the, uh, the season opener. You know, you want to be able to go with your best 11. 
if that means sitting down, it's my favorite. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy. Yeah, baby T.O., that's crazy. The receiver from TCU. So you got to remember, who was that? The receiver from TCU. Ballers want to play. Facts. That's, that's, that's right, Selma. Ballers want to play. If ballers not playing, ballers going to hit that portal. Wide receivers are ballers, so you know they're I mean, they going to want to play. And they, not only that, they want the ball. I'm a, I'm a former receiver, so I can tell you guys right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to want the ball. So it's not only not only so not only do these guys want to play, they also want the football too. Now I'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like they just want to play. They want the ball too. See, that's another thing you have to deal with because honestly, in these practices. So far, Travis is getting all the passes, but Amari and Miller has been getting some passes thrown to him too, though. So Shador, I think Shador is noticing that Amari and Miller is um I think Shador is, is starting to notice Amari and Miller is the real deal. Because Shador has been feeding Amari and Miller a lot lately. Him and Travis. So you you put Travis, Amari and Miller together on the same field at wide receiver. There's no DBs in the country that can stop that. And then again, look, you got Lejante Wester. It's gonna be it's gonna be exciting to see this. I hope all this stuff that we're talking about transition on the field though, because I felt like this the first year, where I felt like we had all the talent, and then you guys saw what happened. So I just hope all this stuff translates the way we all ain't looking crazy. Need that dog quarterback to get prepped. For after number two. Yes, baby T.O. coming. Not enough balls to go around. I would prioritize keeping Miller to pair with baby T.O. Yes, great point. Add baby T.O. to the starting wide receiver court. There will be eight receiver rotation. Remember, injuries happen. Hopefully not. But that's the reality. All these guys will be on the field. Yes. Yeah, injury is going to, going to happen. The nature of the game. Players going to get tired and stuff like that. So there's going to be some rotation. Just hope Amari can get separation in games consistently. I honestly don't think there's going to be a problem with Amari because he can just come down. He has a great sense for the ball. Like He knows how to make plays on the ball. So I don't even think it's going to be a problem. Amari and Miller can catch in traffic. That's the word. He can catch in traffic. So I, I honestly don't think that's going to be a problem. I saw it last year in the videos. <laughs> Not on sauce. Senior year. What Coach Prime mean when he say Caleb is like a doorknob, everybody gets a turn. Does that mean it's too many good receivers? Yes. That's what I take that as. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's too many. Shout out to, um, what about now? Put a one in the chat if you guys can hear me. Put a one in the chat if you guys can hear me. Cordell, where, where Cordell Russell at? Put a one in the chat if you guys can hear me, because I may have to back. Okay, y'all can hear me. We have balanced players have to put themselves first. This portal is only open for two weeks. No time playing around. Appreciate that, Warren and uh, Wayne. Shador has to do, like, Get his core wideouts down in Texas and train with them. Shador need to actually, in my opinion, do a little bit better at oh, like throwing, putting his receivers in position to actually catch on the run. A lot of times Shador do underthrow some receivers. 
y'all have to remember to remember only Jimmy, LaJonte, Shepard are upperclassmen. So those other wide receivers are good. Baby T.O. is a red shirt freshman. Do you really want a red shirt baby T.O. though? Like, are you right? I mean, you, you, you're talking about seniority? You know, with the guys being upperclassmen? But I don't know. I don't think this is the year to do that because this is a win now year. You know, the first year was a sense of hope. This year is a sense of expectations. With the expectations high, I don't think it's it, upper class has anything to do with rotations right now. I think it's let the best man win. Where are all the new wide receivers from Vanderbilt, the kid, baby T.O.? I'm, I'm unsure, but I do know they will be coming in the fall. Shadour trying to ball out this season because he wants number one draft pick. I'm in the draft spot. Cordell Russell is baby T.O. Yeah, I don't, he's he's going to be returning in the fall. Cordell Russell will be there for fall camp. Now, where he, where he at, I don't know. I just know he will be there in the fall. Hundred percent Hunter needs to focus on cornerback and only come to wide receiver at critical moments. That's that's gonna be hard though. But I do feel like with the wide receivers, um, you can do that. You can manage Hunter. If the DB is struggling, you can put them over there. If the wide receiver is struggling. So I, I think that's going to help Hunter overall health. He had a few underthrows last season. That is true. He might need to get. Yes. Yeah, I can't bring a shirt, baby, to you neither. That's a no go. But I, that's what I'm saying. Like with with the wide receivers they have now, Travis Hunter can be used a lot better than last year. Facts, facts. Wester is going to eat in the slot. Here's my issue with Horn. He's a body catcher. Passes where Horn has to stretch his arms. I swear, y'all, man, this man right here knows football. He knows football because he says a lot of things that I usually don't say because, you know, as a content creator covering Colorado, there's certain things, you know, what I'm saying you, you people say, oh, you hating or oh, you doing this and that. So I try to stay away from that. But that's facts. You know, what I'm saying I, I've been saying the same. Well, I've been thinking the same thing. I haven't said it. But every time it's time for him to make a play where he have to stretch his arms out, he don't do it. But I never mention those things. I notice how she do it throw. I notice how she do it on the throw. Yes, he he does that a lot. But again, I don't never say that when I'm when I'm giving my analysis because y'all know how it is. But a lot of those passes be on the throne, especially the ones that's that that's being thrown to Marion, Marion Miller. Those be on the throne passes, and they gonna get picked off in the Big Twelve. If they, I'm telling you, it's a different different level now. It ain't the Pac-12 where it's just a lot of scoring. The Big 12 plays better defense, so them passes gonna have to be more out front. There's moving Travis to cover slot receivers. Yeah, I like that. Savion and Miller Jones hit the board. I wish them well. Yes, good luck. Good luck. Jimmy scared of contact. Miller, Wester, and Baby T.O., the top three wide receivers, then all the other guys. I mean, <laughs> you left out Travis Hunter. You know, again, we could all go through this whole wide receiver list all night, all day, to tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a flaw in every one of them because somebody's going to be left out. 
But in this one right here, this very, very well incorrect because you left out Travis and then um, Shepard. But it's still a good lineup, though. That's the thing about it. <laughs> That's the crazy part. It's still a good winning wide receiver starting uh, list. Find me a receiver that never drops, and I find you a million dollars. You folks got to be realistic. That's true. There's receivers that do drop passes. Timmons. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about Timmons. <laughs> Y'all forgot about Timmons. And I feel like he, I mean, he's, what, 6'4", 6'5"? There's some, it's a lot of receivers. Baby T.O. hasn't played a down football red shirt last year, but y'all claim he's the best, giving me a headache. <laughs> we need to see all the talent facts. That's what I want. I want to see all the talent. Starting April the 27th, I want to see those guys go at it. I don't want to see any two-hand touching besides the quarterback, but I want to see who can play and who can't. Travis do what he do. They tried to box prime too. The young man is special. Yeah, Travis is different. That's the beauty of having Travis is that you can put him in around weaknesses. You know, when we have a, a struggle at a certain position, you can throw Travis there and fix it. I need them to feed Jimmy early and often. We but we haven't seen Shepard. Tim is yet. Are these guys not in spring camp? Yes. Yep. Shepard is not there. Baby T.O. is not there. Tim is not there. Uh, Draylon Miller is not there. You see what I'm saying? It's four wide receivers that's supposed to be cold-blooded. Uh, Cam Michael is not there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gorgeous Bear. He likes for the receivers to run the route like they practice and be in the spot. He doesn't really like a lot of adjusting. Good night. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to close it as well. We just hit the over an hour. Definitely appreciate you guys, man, for chiming in for show. Sure. We're going to do more lives of this. I'm going to still get you guys some interviews. As I said before, I am planning to get out to the spring game so I can see firsthand who performing, who not. And if you guys would like that, um, yeah, there's no problems because I'm done. I'm done now, Sean. But, uh, yeah, just like we was live at the NFL Scouting Combine, I want to do the same for the spring game. Appreciate you guys for chiming in, man. And uh, we'll go live again soon. Peace. Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's mad dog, TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's mad dog, TV, let's go.